So over here, you can see that I have an audio file. And if you have projects like this, then you might want to save this out so that you can edit this out in future. For example, I'm going to go around and then import out another audio. So let me just bring in this audio. So I have two uh, audio tracks right here. So if you were to export this out, then it is exported out as a single file. But if you want to uh, save it later for editing, then you have to save this as an Audacity project itself. So to do that, what you have to do is you have to go around into file and over here, you can go around into save project. So here you can see save project is an option. So once you click on save project, it says save project is for an Audacity project and it's not an audio file. So what you have to do is uh, if you want to open up the um, audio file with other application, you have to use export. So I do want to save an Audacity project file. So I'm going to press OK right here. So now you can see that this is the file tab. It'll save it in. So I'm going to go around onto my desktop and then create a new folder right here saying Audacity project just like this. So once I go around over here, I'm going to go inside. And whenever you are actually saving a project, make sure that you save it out in a folder because there are going to be multiple files that are going to be stored out. So I'm going to go around over here and save this as JTTube file right here. And then I'm going to hit save. And what happens is that it is saved out as JTTube file, as you can see right here. So if I were to drag this out, you can see that I have this folder. And if I were to double click this, you can see that this is what I have. So I got uh, an AUP3 uh, file right here and plus some information file for editing. So now, uh, since there are multiple file stores, that is why I suggested uh, you to save this inside a folder so that you don't misplace of these files as those are important for editing projects. And if you want to edit this out, you can simply double click and open this out right here. And then it'll open out this file itself. And that is how you can save project inside of Audacity. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.